Dressed head to toe in high vis, Treasurer Tim Pallas on a tour of Europe's largest engineering project. 240 metres. What, what's the standard size now in the tube? About half that. The twin 21 kilometre crossrail tunnels are slowly taking shape under central London, including the new Tottenham Court Road station beneath busy Oxford Street. When it's fully open, we'll have 24 trains an hour coming through this station in each direction. Crossrail is designed to increase the capacity of London's rail network by 10% and the government says it provides plenty of lessons for Melbourne. There are a lot of learnings that the people of Victoria can get from uh, what's gone on here and the great thing is there's a willingness to share those learnings. Fresh from inking a $9.7 billion deal to privatise the Port of Melbourne, Tim Pallas is on a two-week trip spruiking Victoria to European business leaders. They want to participate in investing in Victorian infrastructure, in participating in bond offers from the state of Victoria. A key focus of the Crossrail project has been minimising disruption. And that's something engineers are hoping to replicate here in Melbourne. But with major construction not due to start until 2018, the opposition says there's another lesson the government could learn from London. Crossrail's big selling point as a new railway for London is that it has interchange links at every major station it goes underneath. So while Tim Palace is in London, maybe he might consider building an interchange at South Yarra. That's something the government has repeatedly ruled out. Andrew Lund, Nine News.